All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a really cool way that you can impress your friends or family. Uh, let's say you're at uh, an event or like a poker game where a deck of cards is involved and you kind of want to show off uh, some skills. So what you can do is you can have the spectator just pick a, a random card from the deck. In this case, let's say we have the nine of clubs. So it is a random card and you show them and you can put it in the middle of the deck. And you're not kidding about that. The card is indeed in the middle of the deck and you show that to them. And then from here you show them that you can put the card in the middle and then also shuffle up the deck a little bit to get the card mixed up. And then the whole premise of the idea of this little of this little trick is that you can put a card in the middle of the deck and you can control it and kind of figure out where it is. You can tell the spectator, okay, maybe your card is roughly within, let's say like the 36th position of the deck. I'm just kind of looking for it, keeping track of it. So what you're doing, you show them you can cut up the deck a little bit and as you can see, I have no breaks. And at this point, what I want to do is find your card straight from the middle of the deck. So let's say I take a card from the middle, and this so happens to be your card. So this is a trick, guys. And if you want to, to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the reason I like this so much is because it's really practical. You can use this any time a deck of cards is kind of involved in something that you're doing, like a game of poker or anything. And uh, anyways, all it really was that I showed you guys was just a compilation of different card control techniques kind of put into one routine. So uh, to start it off, what I did was you could have the spectator pick a card or you can just pick one out for like demonstration purposes. You take it out, you show the spectators, in this case we have the eight of diamonds. And what I did was I took the eight and I really did put it in the middle. And you can show the spectators that it is in the middle right here. And it's important to leave it out jogged because you want to make sure the deck is kind of squared up you leave their card out jogged and you need to have a table in order to do this control and all I did was as you can see I did not push the card into the deck I used my right hand and I pushed in the corner so my right hand is hitting this corner at a downward angle and that's going to cause this card to shoot and you'll see what happens so my left hand's going in my right hand's coming at an angle and what happens is that card is now going to shoot an out jog in the bottom just like that. So then what I did was since the card is uh, out jog from the back, the spectators can't see it, I put pressure down with my index finger onto the deck and I pulled up with the out jog card and I'm pulling up, catching a break and I come over with my right hand and I grip the bottom packet now with my thumb and my middle. I pull the bottom packet out, slap that on top and now their card is going to be on the bottom. So then, uh, this is optional, but what I did was a Die Vernon false cut. It's really simple. Um, I'll leave a link here if you guys want to learn how to do it. But essentially, you're just splitting up the deck into three separate piles, and this isn't actually mixing up the deck at all, and you're, this card's still going to be on the bottom. And then at this point, I picked up the deck, and I told the spectators to misdirect them uh, that I'm just going to try to keep control of this card even though I'm shuffling it up. And while you're saying that, you're just going to pull down the bottom card just like this getting a pinky break moving this over to a thumb break this is very simple and then you're going to pull over uh, and get a swing cut here keeping that thumb break moving the thumb break on top of the pinky break so now you've transferred their card to the pinky break and you pull off several packets from the top moving their card now to the top so then from here you can pick this up and you can do a riffle shuffle just leaving their card on top so it's very simple their card is going to stay on top as long as you end up leading with the right hand on top so their card still staying up there and then at this point I did a really really simple false cut and I said okay you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up the cards a little bit and all you do is take the top half you stick that over to the left the middle is gonna go in the middle and the bottom is gonna go in the bottom and then I went left to right picking them up and this actually does not disturb the order at all their card is still on top and then from here what I did was a, a bunzai spin out production and so this makes it look like the card is shooting out from the middle but really you're just using the top card and you can show the spectators if you want that you have no breaks um, and that the card is somewhere in the middle and you're going to try to find it and then from here I'll kind of I'll leave the link on the screen for the for the bunzai spin out production but essentially you're just gripping the cards separating the decks into two just like this and your index finger is going to be gripping this top card so you separate it from the left packet and what happens is when you fling out the two decks you separate them fling the card forward 
and it looks like it came from the middle. And like I said, guys, I'll leave a link for that, so don't worry, it's going to go into more detail. But anyways, this is kind of the trick. Um, I hope you guys are going to use this to impress your friends and family. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.